welcome back to my channel or my blog or my website or wherever you're viewing this I'm making a new video by the time this goes live um, my new collection will be live and you'll already know that that is what today's video is about what I'm doing today is I'm actually shooting the collection today so I thought now would be the perfect time to kind of take you behind the scenes. The inspiration behind this new collection was people always say like oh yeah you do all the lovely floral um, designs and it's funny that people think that because I do a lot of leaves but I don't actually do that much florals until now. I really wanted to have a go at florals because um, I just think it's like a classic design and also like I said I hadn't actually done that much but I personally love stuff with florals on and um, I was really loving the whole like florals on black, 1970s, carpet bag, chintz style, sophisticated, like ladylike, interior designy kind of vibe. So, inside the sketchbook, I nearly always start with a mood board. And if you see my other videos, I usually start by sort of curating a mood board on Pinterest and basically whenever I see something that inspires me to create a collection, I'll start a new section of a Pinterest mood board. Um, and then every time I see something that feels like it might fit for that inspiration, um, I add it together and then eventually I pick out which ones really feel right and put together a little mood boardy kind of thing. So sometimes they are much more elaborate than this, but um, this was kind of where I was going with things. A botanical illustration kind of vibe, but also I really like the kind of decorative, velvety, painterly kind of feel. So what I was going for was a mixture of this like almost scientific style of um, drawing but mixed with um, my typically more like painterly style. note to myself when I first sat down to start the first painting for this collection. I did that because um, I think a lot of the time I put pressure on myself to instantly create something that will be made into a product but I think it is important to just make stuff and then whatever ends up working out works out and what doesn't doesn't but sometimes I really really get stressed if the first thing I make is not it. Um, put together a little colour palette and I actually, I kept, because I paint with gouache, um, the paint can be rehydrated so I use this palette in, <laughs> in large quantities for pretty much the whole collection. I knew I wanted to go for this like vintagey oil painting vibe right from the beginning and I was really surprised by how my first painting came out. I also experimented with painting onto black paper whereas this had been obviously a painted black background but in the end I decided that I think the sort of black coming through the other paint colours was really lovely. And usually when I'm designing, um, so I've taken photographs of the page while I was painting um, and then I was just sort of working out how crops might work or in this instance I was playing with like editing in grain in post-production, sort of in Photoshop so that was what those are for and it means that um, I can do one painting but try it out like a number of different ways. So this section is where we see a lot of the designs that I used in the end. Um, yeah, these are kind of the some of the designs I really decided to stick with so you'll recognise these. Um, and I just think out of the whole project they were my best work. So, like I said before, um, once I sort of scan them in and edit them, I usually view them all together to see how they work together. And I think 
here it really shows, even though I've managed to stick this one upside down, um, how this one just didn't really fit with the others. Um, and scanning them in also means I can experiment with some other things, so I actually added some digital lines, although I decided against them in the end, but I do think they look really cute. Maybe something for another collection. And I also experimented without using the sort of cropped area and adding text, but because I was going for like a sophisticated vibe, I just felt like maybe this time I didn't need to add text because I kind of chronically add words to everything I make and sometimes you just don't need to. After that, I started just figuring out how maybe I wanted actual products to look. So here's where I experimented with some patterns, which I would love to do, but um, not really sure what to do with that yet, but it's still in my mind. Um, and then also played with some different styles of text, so um, obviously typeface or hand lettering. And if you know my products, you'll know that um, a lot of my cards are sort of a mixture of the two. Some collections have typeface, some have my own hand lettering. Um, and obviously if you've seen the collection and seen these mock-ups, um, you'll know what I went with. <laughs> I'm in the process of um, sort of revamping a lot of products, so this is in the works, but it's, it's on the back burner at the moment. Um, here's a little thing that I started doing recently, so um, I have a kind of brand aesthetic that I'm trying to generally aim for, so um, I actually just used some like images on Pinterest that really felt like the vibe I was aiming for and collaged them together with my prints just to check they actually fit in with my brand vision. But yeah, I think they work really well. I always print out my designs to check they work in the right size first. And then finally, another way of checking everything works together. I was trying to decide whether these lighter coloured um, cards needed a different colour envelope. That obviously would have cost me more and it meant that they wouldn't all match. So I did actually take photos and collage them together to check whether they needed to be different or whether they actually looked alright. So we ended up with a collection of six rather than seven and they all worked well with the black envelope. So these are some samples that I ordered from my manufacturer um, after I'd finished making all the designs and they're actually what I'm going to use to shoot from today as well which means that I don't have to open my precious, precious final products and I can just use these and if there is any flaws that might be on them because they're a sample um, I can just edit them out in Photoshop. But yeah, these are going to be in my shots today. For this shoot I created a kind of mood board um, like I did for the brand aesthetic vibe check <laughs> and um, what I did was I went prop shopping which was obviously the greatest thing ever so some of these <laughs> things fortunately I already own um, and the frames and stuff and obviously the, the prints <laughs> are mine but um, I wanted to make sure that the vibe was right and I knew with this collection I wanted like a definite homey vibe so I decided to bring this unit which is usually in my studio downstairs into the living room and um, for ordinary life it's not really convenient to be here it's sometimes when you are just one person and you don't have a wonderful budget <laughs> to shoot on beautiful locations, you just have to kind of figure it out. These are some of the items that I picked up in the product shopping session, as well as some stuff that's just around my house. This is without a doubt the most expensive and only grass <laughs> I have ever paid for. But um, to make up for it, I also did the scrappy self-employed cheap hack of um, actually going to the park and um, we have a beautiful big park here and sort of foraging and drying my own like grasses and flowers so I'm hoping to use those today in the shoot as well and I thought you might want to know where everything is from because if it was me I totally would <laughs> this is just an Amazon purchase and um, the pink velvet cushion is from HomeSense this is a Maison du Monde number, these two are H&M Home, my sofa is from DFS, rug from La Redoute, 
Um, this is a sideboard from Ikea, I can't exactly remember what brand. Um, lampshade and lamp is H&M Home, H&M Home, H&M Home, H&M Home. Um, this little guy is from Maison du Monde. Um, this is a tiger number, which is an absolute bargain. This is a very old H&M home. And these wonderful Jesmonite posters are from Katie Gilly's Surface Design. Also frames, because people always ask me where I get paper-sized frames from. This one is actually a sample, which I am trialling to see um, if I can offer them in my shop. So, so hopefully <laughs> you'll be able to buy this from me. This little guy is from Tiger. I find that Tiger are actually really good for paper size frames. They are on the ball and that's always nice and skinny. I'm a fan of a skinny frame. This one, if you're after something a little fancier, is um, John Lewis. It's actually metal and covered in this kind of wood design, but um, I think it looks great. And then these black ones are also from Tiger or Flying Tiger. So I'm certainly not a lighting expert, but um, I like to shoot with natural light wherever possible. Um, so that's mostly what I'll be doing. But because we have such a long house, um, I find that a lot of the time we get a lot of light in from this side and it ends up dark here. So what I've done is I've used one of these lights. I think it's just like a standard box light. So it has one of these little little screens over it um, and I think that was just from eBay or Amazon and then I'm using like a warm reflector to kind of reflect kind of mimic the daylight kind of vibe I'll probably fiddle with it a bit when I've actually looked at the shots on the camera but yeah I think we're all ready to go I like to write a vague kind of shot list of things I need to get and sometimes it is much longer than others um, so this one's pretty short today, but we don't have as many products to shoot, so um, yeah, I'm actually going to get on with it now. shooting uh, photographs for the new collection I realized I didn't record a little 
that's the end video. So here I am, I'm wearing the same t-shirt for continuity like they do in Bake Off. I just wanted to say that that is kind of hopefully a little interesting sneaky peek into the behind the scenes of the uh, new collection. Um, you can shop the Botanical Blooms collection now, click the link below I guess. Um, if you like this video, you give it a thumbs up and um, you subscribe if you are interested in this kind of arty behind the scenes small business content. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and um, I'll see you in another video.